In the chaos, all the girls are trying to figure out what's going on. Shintaro is overwhelmed by everyone speaking at once and turns to Satsumi, asking why she's here. Satsumi, in her sweat clothes, wishes she hadn't run into her crush dressed like this. Shintaro suggests they all pretend this never happened and go home, but that's clearly not an option now. Noelle is fascinated by the sight of a real angel, stunned by how adorable Toa is. Gathering her courage, Toa admits she's an angel who came to Earth to learn about humans. Noelle's excitement grows even more. Sitting down with everyone, Shintaro explains the whole situation and why he hid Toa. Satsumi promises to keep the secret, convinced no one would believe her anyway. She asks Toa why she chose Shintaro, and Toa explains it was random, just needing a place to sleep. Hearing this, Satsumi feels a mix of jealousy and admiration for Shintaro's kindness. Recalling the bento lie, and realizing it was actually Toa's cooking. Satsumi then recognizes Noel from school, known as the Ice Queen for her coldness towards people. Pressured, Noel nearly loses her cool, which could trigger a blizzard, but Shintaro quickly explains that they just work together. This calms things slightly and Noel insists Shintaro use her first name which makes Satsumi feel left out. As things settle, Noel suddenly confesses she's a Yuki Ona, stunning everyone. She demonstrates her powers, causing a light snowfall, and the wind accidentally lifts her skirt, which embarrasses her further when Shintaro tries to warn her. Regaining her composure, Noelle says she was inspired by Toa's honesty to reveal her true nature. Satsumi, not wanting to be left out, shares an embarrassing childhood secret about wetting the bed until fifth grade. Grateful for making new friends, Toa thanks everyone. Satsumi formally introduces herself to Toa, and Noel asks Toa if she can adjust the size of her wings. Everything went better than Shintaro expected. When he got home, he was super tired. Toa decided to make him something to eat. She talked about how great Satsumi and Noel were, and asked if Shintaro was mad that she reveals her angel identity. Shintaro said he wasn't mad, just worried. He told her to be careful and not do something like that again. That night, Shintaro had a scary dream. He dreamed that government's agents came to his apartment and took Toa, Noel, and even a kappa no one knew about. He tried to save them but couldn't. When he woke up, Toa was there looking worried about him. The next day at school, Shintaro was super tired with big dark circles under his eyes. Satsumi came up to him, looking even more tired. She was trying to act normal but she really hadn't slept well. She is okay about the angel and Yuki Ona, but the idea of Shintaro living with a girl was too much for her. She asked Shintaro if he was dating Toa or Noel. He said they'd just met, and inside her mind, Satsumi was celebrating. While they talked, Shuichi came over and asked who Toa was. Satsumi quickly said she was a distant relative of Shintaro who made his lunch every day. Shuichi thought Shintaro was really lucky. Shintaro thanks Satsumi, feeling good having someone to share a secret with, and Satsumi was happy to share a secret with Shintaro too. Later, Shinra was enjoying a peaceful moment when he saw two guys bothering Noel, asking her to go to karaoke. She ignored them, but lit up when she saw Shintaro. She told him she wanted to hang out with him after school, go eat, and do fun stuff together. Shintaro remembered they had to work, so Noel decides to hang out during their day off instead. She was really excited about it. As the afternoon went on, Toa got curious about where Shintaro worked. She saw a kitten on the balcony, and wondered if the cat knew where Shintaro worked. At the restaurant Shintaro was working when Noel came up to him warmly. The boss called Shintaro over and asked if he and Noel were dating because she told him that she wanted to work the same shifts as him. Shintaro got nervous and said they were just friends. A co-worker is surprised he managed to befriend Noel, mentioning that Noel was usually cold to others. Then, a customer rang a bell needing service. When Shintaro went to the table, he was shocked to find Toa and Satsumi waiting there. Toa explained that a kitten had shown her the way to the restaurant, but it disappeared along the way. Luckily, Satsumi was passing by and guided her the rest of the way. Satsumi acted like she just stumbled upon the restaurant, but she actually had been looking for Shintaro's workplace. Shintaro took their drink orders and went to help another customer, while Satsumi was thrilled to see him in his work uniform. Meanwhile, an elderly lady needed help. But before Toa could assist, Satsumi reminded her that helping customers wasn't her job. At the same time, Satsumi noticed Noel and figured that she and Shintaro wouldn't interact much during work. However, Noel quickly rushed to tell Shintaro that the angel was here. The boss then pulled Noel aside to commend her for her energy, but asked her to keep it professional at work. After talking to the boss, Noel told Shintaro she couldn't be friends with him at work anymore because she struggled with maintaining professional boundaries. With tears in her eyes, Noel runs away, telling Shintaro to never speak to her again. Shintaro was shocked by her extreme reaction. At their table, Toa was enjoying a melon soda and checked out the menu. She was intrigued by a cheeseburger but decided against ordering it since she had already prepared dinner. Hearing this, Satsumi thought to herself how Toa, being both beautiful and a good cook, might steal Shintaro away. Meanwhile, Toa asked why Shintaro was working since he was still a student. Satsumi explained that many students work part-time to supplement the allowance they get from their parents. Suddenly, Satsumi needed to use the restroom, leaving Toa alone. 
Seizing the moment, Toa started helping other customers until Shintaro quickly pulled her aside. He explained that he was paid by the hour, and her helping wouldn't get him home any sooner. Toa then asked if Shintaro was working because she lived with him, but he reassured her that he had been working long before she came along, and that he wanted the work experience before graduating. Toa felt bad for not contributing, but Shintaro assured her that she was a huge help at home, which made his life much better. Happy to hear this, Toa promised to have dinner ready for him when he got home. Unbeknownst to them, the boss was overhearing their conversation and thought Shintaro was involved in a love triangle. Just then, Noelle approached the boss, asking to change her shifts to not see Shintaro at work, showing her intense side once again. 